These were some of the news uh, making and the stories making the news today. But now turning our attention to tonight's topic. Now the state budget for 2022-23 is allocating about 490 uh, billion pounds uh, that will be uh, specifically for the social protection programs. Let's check out this report and we'll be right back. Egypt is including social protection programs worth over 490 billion pounds, roughly 26 billion dollars, in the country's 2022-23 budget that started in July. Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli made the statements in a press conference detailing the new social packages directed by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to help Egyptians cope with the repercussions of global inflation. The sum allocated to protection programs in the 2022-23 budget is up from £290 billion in the country's 2015-2016 budget. The social protection programs aim to ease the burden on the population as soon as possible, offering assurances that the state would always bear the brunt of any hikes in commodity prices and pass only a small portion onto the population. Prices of several commodities have soared over the past several months due to the increase of wheat and oil costs globally. The new allocations are for the subsidized bread, ration cards and pension programs, as upon the presidential directives, one million new families will be added to the Takeful and Karama, Solidarity and Dignity program, and thus the number of beneficiaries' families will increase from 4.1 to 5 million. The Takeful and Karama program was launched in 2015 to support impoverished families with school-aged children, the elderly, and people with special needs in Upper Egypt. Prior to new allocations, the program had a total budget of £22 billion from the state's treasury. The cost of adding 1 million families to the Takeful and Karama program will be shared between the government and non-governmental organizations, with the country's budget allocating $3 billion from emergency cash reserves to cover 500,000 families, while the NGOs will allocate 2.5 to £3 billion to cover 400 to 500 families. The government will also disperse a total of £1 billion per month for the next six months as exceptional aid to 9 million needy families. Recipients will include the neediest families and pensioners who receive less than £2,500 a month, as well as the state employees whose monthly salaries are less than £2,700. Madbuli said that as per CC's directives, 2 million subsidized food boxes will be made available each month at half price at several outlets nationwide for the coming six months, with the specific aim of helping citizens in rural areas. The new aid is expected to be rolled out by the end of August as the government is working on finalizing some related logistic procedures, including issuing cards for the targeted families.